Hi, today we're talking about ground loops. Now ground loops occur whenever you have multiple pieces of equipment, say two amplifiers, and somehow or another they're interconnected, say through a stereo chorus or an AB box. There are other applications where this occurs, but that's what we're going to focus on today primarily. Now before we talk about ground loops though, I want to, want to remind everyone that you can't have a ground loop unless you have ground. And ground is absolutely essential for safety reasons and to get rid of noise whenever you're plugging into anything. I want to remind everybody of this little device. It's called a GFI or ground fault tester. They're available through Radio Shack, through Home Depot, any electronic supply. This is always your starting point. I have one of these plugged in my power strip on my amp. Whenever I go somewhere and plug in, I look at the lights and go, is there ground in this place? If not, I have to find a plug where there is ground. And the way this works is you simply plug it into a wall socket and a series of lights will come on. And the coating for that's on top, but in this situation it's telling me I have good ground. So remember that having a ground is your, always your starting point. Now back to the ground loop thing. This is something that occurred here today. We didn't set this up, it actually happened. I have two different amplifiers. My Line 6 Flextone 3 and I have a Taylor Prototype Acoustic Amp. Now, what I was trying to do was I was trying to set up one for a clean sound and one for distorted sounds. So I came out of these amplifiers and I plugged them in to an AB box here. This one's gone to one amp, this one's gone to the other. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn up the amps, and you're going to hear something happening. Now, what you hear there, a lot of us have kind of learned to live with, and we go, well, I'm plugging my electric guitar in, and that's the way it should sound. Well, what we actually have, again, is a ground loop because these two devices are connected. I'm going to take a second, I'll actually turn down one of the amps, and I'll prove it to you. I'm going to disconnect one of the amps from the system. The noise level drop. Plug it back in. Noise level comes back. So what I have is two amps that are basically fighting to decide which one is ground. Now in our situation here, one amp is actually plugged into one wall socket and another amp is plugged into another one. One of the best starting points in a situation like this or where you're using two amps or uh, several products is to use a single power strip and that way you're sure first of all you're getting the same ground potential. If that doesn't work the next thing you have to do is you have to start lifting or getting rid of the ground on one product at a time until that ground conflict goes away. Now the way we're going to do it here is pretty simple. I've decided I'm going to let the Taylor amp be the main ground. So I'm going to go to the plug of the Line 6. I'm going to actually turn it down while we're doing this. Now here's the plug of the Line 6 and we're plugged into an extension cord. I'm going to unplug it. I have three plugs here so I know I have ground. If I wanted to, I could actually plug my GFI in and say, oh yeah, I do have ground here. Unplug it. And what I'm going to use now is a device that's become referred to as a ground lifter. And actually it's used in situations to get ground uh, more often where you connect this through to the plate. I'm going to plug this in to my amp. Now I've lifted the ground. I'm going to plug that back into the extension cord. So now the Line 6 no longer has ground connected. I'm going to go ahead and turn it up. Now you hear the normal amplifier noise coming through, that ground hiss, that eh, that buzzing is gone. The ground conflict or the ground loop is no longer with us. It's a real simple thing to do, but it's important to realize that you can actually make your system quieter by having a good ground and by not having ground conflicts. Now, the last thing to remember is, should you go back to using an individual amp don't use it with the ground lifter on it. You want good ground on an amplifier for safety and for collecting audio noise. So that's kind of a little primer on, um, on ground loops and how they occur in a real life setting.